Access granted. Take a look. I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Okay, that's it. Someone over there. I 
knew there was nothing. Regrettable affair. I, I very much like to meet with David Seraph in person, to offer my deepest sympathies, and assure him that these attacks are in no way linked to humanity problems. My people have worked tirelessly to find a peaceful solution to this dispute, and I unequivocally deplore the methods used by these hostage takers. Now, that being said, I do hope the UN takes a concentrated look at what happened here tonight. Mr. Taggart went on to express a sincere desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David Sam, united in their cause to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if billionaire Hugh Darrow, the man whose innovations first propelled augmentation technology to the forefront, will also be present. So far, Mr. Darrow has refused our repeated requests. <laughs> What you want? I'm a friend of Greg Thorpe. Really? Okay, I give you the egghead discount. Okay, that's it. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. You identified the shipment completely unnoticed, and my guys got their hands on Double T. Awesome job. What else you got? 
I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. Here's the weapon used in the dealer's murder. Hope you can make good use of it. You bet, big boy. I've got a feeling O'Malley's guy will become a lot more receptive to interrogation once he knows I can pin this murder on him. I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? I managed to hack into his personal account. I think you might want to check any connection O'Malley has with FEMA. There's definitely something going on there. My god, Jensen. With all you've uncovered, you've probably provided us with months of legal investigation. What's next? You're gonna tell me you found proof he's got free satellite TV? No, that about covers it. Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. You should be careful who you point that thing at, son. There might be some very unpleasant consequences. Mr. Jensen. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete? You play a dangerous game, O'Malley. Manipulating people, killing them. What's happening here shouldn't come as a surprise. It's an inevitable consequence. In the end, it seems you and I aren't so different, Mr. Jensen. You too seem to consider this world only through cold, hard facts. Whatever. I'm here to arrest you. I strongly suggest you consider a peaceful resolution. I'm afraid I won't be able to comply, Mr. Jensen. But allow me to make you a different offer. Save your breath. We're done with this bullshit. You're going down. So be it. Who's... So? What happened? He looked a bit tired and it made him grumpy. He's asleep now. All that's left to do is go in there and cuff him. I've always liked your style, Jensen. I know I've said it a couple of times already, but... Thanks. You've done a really good thing today. It's been a pleasure working with you again. Just like old times, eh? <laughs> good luck with... Well... Whatever it is your cute ass is working on these days.
I see you got my message, Cabrón. Sanders. You're taking a risk meeting this close to Seraph headquarters. Same risk as you, considering you're the one who let me go. But I don't plan to stick around that long. Yeah? So what's this about? I did some house cleaning after the plant. And I turned up some intel on the gearhead motherfucker who used me and my brother. Chink left the pocket secretary behind. Don't say who he was working for, but it's got access codes, names, shit like that. Why are you giving it to me? Maybe I don't like feeling like I owe you. Or maybe I figured I'd send a snake to kill a snake. Take or to leave it, pendejo. Either way, my debt is paid. Join the derelict role ballers in the middle of a gang war? Yo, keep your voice down, man. Why don't you just call Eliza and have her broadcast it? I'm telling you, Spike, those cats are serious about taking out the bangers. And? You a fucking cog lover or something? Shut it, D-Bone. Look, Paul, the gang war don't scare me, because I hear the MCBers don't stand a chance. Not with all the firepower that's been slipping into D-Row. Yeah, that. More than enough to bag each one of us a cog.
What'll it be? Always a pleasure.